Hi, my name is Jesse Gordon, and with your kind and generous help, I believe we can design and build an amazing open source XYZ framework for 3D printers and other light duty CNC activities. The unique aspect of this design is not its clever complexity, but its robust simplicity. Using V-slot extrusion and roller technology, which is readily available and quite affordable, I am certain that we can create a machine which is easy to use and easy to build at home with minimal tools. Here are some video clips of V-slot technology I am using in other projects currently. This is the 20 by 20 millimeter extrusion and it's V-slotted in here so the roller stays centered nicely. And this is the uh, the rollers for rolling on the 20 by 20 but it also comes in 20 by 80 as well as other widths but this is the 20 by 80 and these are all v-slots in here and in here so these are the little rollers you can get them in Deleron and stainless and so you can see it rolls really smoothly and I'll show some more close-up views of those rollers in action Now why would I build or design another 3D printer when there's already so many out there? Well, here's why. You've heard the old adage that you can have a job done fast, well, and cheap. Pick any two. You can have it. If it's done well and fast, it's not going to be cheap. Or if you have done it well and cheap, it's not going to be fast. So there's another triple constraint like that that is quite applicable to 3D printers and that is you can have it compact, robust, and simple. Pick any two. So a lot of the ones on the market are compact like this one for example but it's, I wouldn't call all of them highly robust or, or even simple because some of them have to be aligned at just exactly right or they kind of bind up or something like that. I want to go for robust and simple at the expense of compact. So, my uh, plans are to make it twice as long this way, so kind of similar to this. I'm just, I'm just using this as kind of a mock-up since I don't have what I want to show you yet because I haven't built it yet. I'm just using this as something I can wave my hands at here. 
So what I have in mind would be similar to this, but it would have these slot rollers here, and this side bracket would be up further so that the rollers could roll all the way underneath. And instead of having a plate on the end, I would use pre-cut lengths of aluminum extrusion, which are readily available because you can buy pieces like this or whatever for these kits. And so I would use them in here like this with aluminum plates put on the end. And you can get, you can order from online metals, you can order um, pre-cut aluminum plates in any size you want. And so then it's just a matter of stacking them up and marking them and drilling them. And so because this plate would go on there like that, and of course this would be long enough, and the plate would go on there like that, and the same thing on the back, and the same thing up here, that would make sure that all points were the exact same width, so that the rollers will always be parallel. And so, anyway, I want to have V-slot extrusions here and here, and then also here and here, and then the top would also be twice as tall. And then the, the carriages that would ride both here and here would be about as long as they were wide, so that they would have good rotational rigidity. They wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't have the sideways binding effect, because the base this way would be just as long as it was wide, roughly. That would allow a single feed screw to actuate each axis. Or, or a single feed screw here to actuate this axis, and a single belt, whatever, to actuate the other two axes. And so... So I'll show you this. So this would be moved to the middle of the rig, so that the print head, which was here, was actually over the middle, so that as the trolley went forward and back, it could, it would, the print head would be able to get to the, cover the whole trolley. And then again, on the back, there would be end pieces this way, and then a plate that went on like that, which would be just a simple plate. And if you, if you get all your plates of a given size and stack them up, and then you can just mark one and drill the whole stack, and that way all the hole spacings will be quite similar. And that will help make things fair and square. And so this plate, as I said, this whole thing will be moved to the middle, because the whole thing will be twice as long but it would be higher distance here because a roller in here would hit the end of this extrusion. So if this plate were higher, and then these, the ends of these would be up high enough that then the roller could freely move completely underneath the tower. And then what I intend to have for the x-axis was on, mounted on the vertical car or train train car would then be a, two, tw a 20 by 80 um, v-slot extrusion which would go along but stick out past a ways past each uh, side a ways so that the x trolley could which would roll in the ends of the v-slot like the video I showed you earlier would be able to go all the way out past a little bit so that the print head, whatever that was, would be able to reach all the way to the edge of the platform. So you'd have the full width of the printing area right to left. And then the, uh, <clears throat> the V-slot the rollers would be one on the inside and one on the outside, and then another on the inside and another on the outside going up like this. Or I should say the front and the back. Of course, this would be twice as high, so they would be about this far apart, and yet they would move about this far. And so, the ones on the front would be mounted rigidly to the trolley framework, and then the ones on the back would be spring-loaded to hold it together, and yet they would be, they would take up any amount of wear or whatever, so it would be zero lash, it would be lashless, but it wouldn't bind, and it would self-adjust for any wear. And so then the same, exact same uh, method would be used for, the, for this axis here as well, for this main table. And because it's, because it's supported on the very end, edges, the corners of the table, it's going to be very stable because it, it won't have the, the slop 
due to being mounted in the middle. And so that's about all the plans I have so far. I have three major goals for this project. One is for it to be built from off-the-shelf parts or easily fabricatable parts. The second goal is that it's geometrically stable and robust and easy to align without having to go through any fancy tricks to try to make it not bind up. And the third goal is that all the axes are uh, spring tensioned and lashless. And I think the combination of these three things will make a very useful um, and very easily built and used system. I know my video is not very polished, but I'm not a movie maker. And uh, I really appreciate your watching this far through. And thank you very much for considering helping me create this, what I think will be a great open source 3D printer framework.